Hey, my name's Perpetual Pandemonium, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Last we left off, as you can probably hear, the chopper arrived. But also, last we left off, we had uh, um, some survivors with us. So, I'm not sure quite what happened. I tried uh, checking in the game files. I wasn't able to determine anything, but for some reason, um, all our survivors just kind of dipped down on us. I don't know what happened or where they went, so we're making some sheet ropes here, and I'll go over why. So the only way I can think to survive this is to wall off the bottom floor with two sections, because I don't know if they can break through walls or not. So we're going to grab a bunch of planks here, uh, nails as well. Oh, you know what? Let's also grab axes since we won't be able to, God, we are ridiculously tired and exhausted. Since we won't be able to come back down through here, we need to pretty much grab everything that we're going to take with us. Oh, I would love to take this Husqvarna with us. Oh, we're going we're gonna to find a way to do it. We're going to find a way to do it. Okay, so they are pounding on the gates now. Okay, let's get these bottom walls down. And then, oh man, I'm so terrified right now. Get this wall down here. Ooh. Then we got to go try and sleep. Let's also wall this off here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go try and sleep, and then I think we I, we just have to leave after this. I don't think we'll be able to stay here. There's just gonna be too many, and with all my survivors gone, I just don't think we have the option. So, whew, wish me luck. It is now morning. Actually, instead of using that, we're going to use our ax. It's only because we have so much more proficiency with it. Let's check real quick, see if our uh, barricade did hold. Nobody broke in here, that's good. That's a really good sign. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Let's see how bad it really is. Okay, we're already getting some people right here up next to us. How many? Not a crazy, crazy amount. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. You know, I'm not sure what exactly happened to make it not as bad as i was expecting it but that's a definitely a positive sign see this whole time i was thinking you know we're gonna have to head out of here they definitely broke down my garage door and my front doors let's take a peek inside here I'm gonna have to clear this place out for sure okay this is really positive Hearing a whole bunch. Is it just that one person that I was hearing? Hey, what the hell? Survivor Steven. Hey, buddy. How did you... How did you survive this? Okay, I just had to check my settings to make sure. Uh, I've got survivor chance at ultra low to preserve my oh come on to preserve the oh, cpu on my pc so i don't just burn it up uh but we're coming across a weirdly high amount of npcs in such a short period of time two whatever i'm going to accept this and not stare a gift horse in the mouth oh oh are you done for take these guys out get back in dead bastards hey come here come here come here let's check you i know i know this is a weird thing to do when i first meet you but i, I just gotta check okay you know i just needed to check i just need to make sure you weren't bitten okay 
We're gonna have to build a wall around this place. A-S-A-P. Which also means we're gonna have to go for a ride. We've read, we know how to use generators, right? Let's go ahead and think I have the keys to a truck over here. So let's go run over there real quick. The key and it's a uh, inventory. Yes, I don't know why I didn't grab this before, but now we've got it. It's got a little bit of gas in it. Go ahead and uh, pull around. First, we gotta go get one of our generators then we can kind of head on down to the gas station up to the northeast. Okay, let's get out and fight these guys real quick. Hey, get, come on, come on, come on. Come on, take the generator. Okay, come on. It gets to go. Oh, shit. Okay. Another survivor. Where the hell? Where are all these survivors coming from? Yeah? Come on, you guys, just get in the truck. Drive away a little bit, give them some space. Jump in. All right, come on, come on. Kim got got. All right, let's see if we can't help them a little bit. Not with that tool. Uh, there's that one dead. That was uh, some horrifying noises. Miraculously, Steven is also okay. Okay, we gotta get to the, um... Oh, we're gonna run out of gas before we get there, aren't we? Oh, we very well may. Well, I guess we'll just see if we can't make it. We gotta go. We're not gonna live through this. I'm sorry, you guys. Come on, come on, come on. Please. I would love to take the truck. We'll have to... Holy shit. Where are all these extra survivors coming from? Holy shit, man. Oh, this is not good. Steven's gonna get himself eaten if he doesn't quit screwing around. Yeah, there's Jordan, whoever that is. Holy shit, they're both still here.
Well, that's the truck. All right, so we were able to siphon enough gas to get mostly full tank and another full gas tank, small, uh, small get. Son of a bitch. It's not really gonna matter if we can't drive. Hate when the trees phase out of existence before you even get to them. Then I can't see where they are. Uh, but I think this should be able to get us at least on the road. Okay, we are at the location we are going to spend the first night. Come on, guys. You got this. Good God. There we go. Uh, they just put in some serious work. Okay, so let's check this area out. I'll jump back in if I see anything interesting. Oh, come on. Doesn't matter anyways. All right, we are all fueled up, and it's time to hit the old dusty trail. So I'm probably just going to time lapse this. We are headed towards uh, a series of buildings in the direction of Muldraw next to the lumber camp. I figured that's a pretty good place to set up base. There's some warehouses there, just a bunch of stuff we're going to need, essentially. So I will see y'all once we are there, or if anything interesting comes up along the way. This looks like it could be interesting. Let's check this out. It's like a survivor home of sorts. Check this place out. Oh, another generator. We will take that on our way out of here. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is I bashed out a car window and used or forgot to pull out my weapon. So our hand is uh, scratched up. Okay, nothing too crazy there, so we're going to keep on moving. It's kind of a neat little place. We have them. Okay, let's go ahead and drop off all these stretcher beds we picked up. Holy shit, there's Survivor Ewan. Oh, we have arrived at our destination. Get out and do some work. Where everybody lives. Really know of a much better way to do this than to just get into it, you know? Not with the AI of superb survivors. If it was multiplayer, you know, maybe. God, I do not want to run out of my axe right now. And use the Gerber thing i think it's trash maybe you will rejoin us that'd be interesting oh no 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 Ewan. That's wild. Maybe the game like simulated them being terrified by the helicopter in between you know me playing because I stopped playing. Two keys, let's go. Speaking of, let's go turn off the truck. I 
I do think it's funny how Ewan was just like, oh yeah, we're, we're homies again. Park ourselves right here. All right. All right, let's see if we can't break in. Nope, man, nope. Okay. Never seen a door barricaded as such, but whatever. Keeping these planks on my on myself, am I? Okay. Clear it out real quick, like. Make sure these are unlocked. Okay. Anybody up here? No. Okay. Ooh, this is good. We need to fill all. All right, so let's just take a quick glance at what we've got in here. Gravel, sand, lots of nails. Okay, we'll be able to, to lock pipe wrench. We'll be able to lock this place down, no problem. Another axe and, an, and hand axe. Okay, boom. This is beautiful. All right, next we're going to break into the main warehouse, clear it out. And then I'm going to start thinking about what we're going to do next with regard to how much we, oh, this thing's full up, how much of this place we want to actually secure. Okay, come on guys, let's go. And do we want this to be our home? Do we want to make the whole thing our home? You know, we, we've got a couple of survivors. Locked. Got a couple of survivors, so... Seriously. Uh, so, kind of the world's our oyster situation. Okay. Gotta find a... Gotta find a way into this place. Let's head around back. Got a key on you by chance? No. Taylor's notes. I don't need those right now. Okay, we've gained entry. There are some in here. I think they probably got them no issue. Oh wow, they almost didn't. Let's establish ourselves in here. Oh. There you go, take him out. Alright. Uh Driver Dean. Dude, this is my base now. Get out of here. Kicked you out. Can't be having too many survivors. One sec. Let me make sure the settings are set to this, the lowest chance of survivors because I can't be having this. Okay, I just straight up turn survivor spawning off because I don't want to have an inundation of survivors. Okay, so some more planks, some random stuff. All right, let's just clear this place out with it. Okay, so the layout of this place is pretty much identical to that of the warehouse in West Point, except for it's significantly larger. So it's from here over to the oh, from here over to the northwest, it's the same it seems, and then the northeast portion, the northeast portion of the warehouse is all extra. So that's pretty cool. No, 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 you and. Did you just get bit? Come here. Miraculously, no. I don't know how he managed that. Come on. I don't know how he managed to not get bit, but somehow he didn't. Okay.
Alright, we don't care about Survivor Jordan. We'll rock out with two survivors for now. Maybe if Survivor Jordan survives long enough, we'll let him in. But until that point, you know, I, I can't even keep the ones that I like alive. Okay, kill you, kill you. Anybody in here? What is that? Sphere 08 helmet? <laughs> we now have an exoskeleton. Oh man, that's cool. Okay, so we also found a couple of helmets. We went ahead and equipped everybody up. Let's go ahead and just keep on clearing this place out. This is very interesting. So it's like one of the uh, NPCs. What the hell just happened to Ewan? One of the NPCs decided to make this place their base. And so they just started boarding up and uh, putting uh, curtains in all the windows and stuff like that. It's quite odd. Very cool, though. They did a lot of the work for me. So thanks, person. But... Uh, telling you now this is my base okay so let's go back oh there we go what I was gonna say is let's go back to the other building hey what are you doing here Oh, they busted down that door. I'm like, how did they even get in here? Oh. All right. So it's only 920. What I'm going to probably do is get to a little. Oh, there goes our axe. At least the one we had in our hands. So let's go ahead and grab the other one. Who, as in multiple people, was that? Okay. Are we serious? Oh, they broke in through the window. Okay, that makes sense. Alright, I'm going to board this place up very quickly. All right, it's a brand new day. Let's do a little bit of work clearing this area out and just making it visible here. Real quick, nothing too crazy. I'm probably just going to time lapse it. Okay, so we'll have our guys gathering wood while we uh, <clears throat> finish chopping this down. And then, I think just a little bitty wall over here. Maybe just from here to the corner here. Just to get us a little bit more secure. You know, we'll expand it later. We're not super worried about being uh, completely secure in every single aspect this episode. We'll be doing that over the next couple episodes. Don't worry. Just call everybody over here and just get it done with. I don't want to be sitting here dealing with zombies for way too long. Oh, jeez.
Okay, that's all I would chop, but let's go check on Yuen. What the hell is he doing in here? And where is he? Somehow he got trapped in the stretcher bed. Whatever. All right, let's get a little mini defensive wall set up. All right, so we just upgraded to level five carpentry. This is a big deal. Just uh, two more levels and we can go ahead and make rain collector barrels. Now those carry, I believe it's 400 water. So we're gonna be getting that going here pretty quickly. Also, something I also wanna do is repave a lot of this and uh, make it look much nicer. Oh, damn it. I built one too far. Uh, I'll sledge that down eventually. By uh, one too far, what I meant was two too far. Uh, Gerard. Okay, this is wild. I have put survivor spawning to none. I might have to kill Gerard. He's just walking in our base as he sees me building this up. Can I demolish this? Okay, I can. Okay, so that is the far right corner of the warehouse section walled off. Now, think over here we're gonna bring it out a little bit and over and up this is gonna be a very long-term project we're gonna have to clear all of this area out of the, the woods we'll see how far we actually end up taking this with the construction um, it's far enough out from everything I mean Moldra is over there to the southeast but I can run away pretty easily uh, it's far enough away from everything that's not going to be a huge issue so we could even oh man there's so many possibilities for here we could build walls all the way through here i think we'll start some oh, running industries i think we'll start somewhat small and um just barricade all the windows over here and then wall over from here down over down and down that way we can set up a completely secluded location let's chop these down so we have better vision okay so this is kind of sort of what i was talking about with uh redoing all the exterior floors i wish i could keep the curb in but i wasn't able to really figure that one out Let's get rid of some of these bushes just very briefly. Okay, so I could spend it all day cleaning this up, but it's really inefficient to start doing that right now before I've even really secured the location. Um, so that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, when we come back, we're going to continue. Why am I so depressed? We're going to continue the expansion here. Uh, bring this round, and I think what we'll do, the first thing we'll do here is maybe just mm, i don't know why don't y'all let me know should i just go straight around here and build all the way like that and then just enclose as much as i can first swipe or should i the first thing i do just be to enclose maybe directly across here so that way i can set up an uh completely cut off area and then barricade all the windows and doors and etc etc uh so let me know what you think down in the comments below uh Thanks for watching. If you like this video, definitely drop a like. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a ton to me. I would love to hit 500 pretty soon. I know this channel has just done so much better than I ever imagined it doing. Uh, I do appreciate y'all's patience with my uh, lack of consistent uploading. I'm trying to get ahead. Uh, so hopefully we can do that to where we're not waiting, you know, four or five days in between uploads. But anyways, my name is Perpetual Pandemonium. And thanks for joining me for another episode of Project Zomboid.